Greetings and welcome to an LGR blurb about some Neo Geo MVS stuff. And because, yeah, my arcade inclinations and collecting interests have uh, uh, continued to expand and get more interesting here recently. Well, not, I don't know, recently necessarily, but in between all the other things that I've been interested in. And yeah, most recently, I guess, is the fact that I have some cartridges like these here that I like to store in a nice, pleasing way. And, you know, uh, I mean, I've got, like, this cool setup over here, and I just play them on this little tabletop for now, you know, at least until I get, like, a Neo Geo machine. So having them out in the open like that is fine for this, but in the meantime, as I continue to collect them, I would like to store them in a more awesome way than just loose like that or, um, like the boxes that they originally came in, which I believe were just basic-looking cardboard boxes with a label on the outside, no art or anything. They had some cool stuff in the, inside the box along with a cartridge, you know, some stickers and documentation and some other little add-on bits and whatnot, but I don't have any of that. I just have loose carts. And in particular, I have... Uh, even more that just arrived. And these, I uh, come from an LGR viewer, Avram, got in touch, let me know they had some duplicate cartridges available. And so I'm like, yeah, I will buy them off of you. So anyway, I've got even more now. And so uh, that's a thing. But here's the solution that I have come across because I've seen a bunch of other YouTubers that have MBS collections or whatever. And just talking about these, because they're pretty great. They're from, uh, they're called shock boxes. And they're from South Town Homebrew, I believe. There's a little warning note in here about, yeah, don't open them if they're too cold. <laughs> Which is good, because this was, this box was covered in snow when I got it. Because it's been snowing here, but yeah. Uh, these are some, like, mighty good looking boxes. So I've gotten, I don't know, 10 or something for each of the games that I currently have or have on the way. And yeah, there's a variety of, you know, artwork and styles and color schemes and all sorts of things available on the website. And uh, yeah, you can get them with inserts, without, you can have them cut or not or whatever, you know, so I just got the whole package and I think it came to like 1350 or something per one of these complete looking little things. But it is, uh, yeah really well put together and you know the quality of the art itself varies a little bit from what I've seen in terms of like uh yeah just like overall image and print quality but I mean I'm I'm happy with them overall it's better than anything I could do at home that's for sure <laughs> and this one in particular looks quite good nice and crisp text and all that it's just some of the images that I've seen they look like you know they've been up a little bit and it's not the greatest but you know, it's like, yeah, 90% there. And, you know, that's fine. Whatever. As long as it looks good on a shelf. And so these should do it. So we're just going to open all these up and, um, yeah, I'm going to get those other games that just came in from Avram. I'm just going to put these in the shock boxes. <laughs> that's all this video is going to be. I'm going to play our game or two. Because why not? Neo Geo. Yeah, yeah let's get these out of here. I haven't actually taken a look at these yet, so. <laughs> they better be good. No, I'm sure they are. Okay, let's see. Yeah, there we go. These were the two with the worst labels. So I got King of Fighters 2000 and uh, Art of Fighting. I believe, yeah. So we've got some like replacement labels included here, which is nice. All right, yeah, nice quality. Repro labels. Not like, you know, obsessive about the uh, quality of like the labels or anything on any of these. It's just, I just want the games, I want them to be original, and I want them to work well and reliably. I've already got a few repro labels on those other ones you probably saw earlier. And I got a really good deal on these. So, yeah. So these labels are just fine. So we got Super Sidekicks 2 and uh, I think Samurai Showdown 2. So, for uh, new games, I mm, haven't played these yet. How fun. But yeah, anyway. Mm. Yeah. Metal Slug X2, Metal Slug, Puzzle Bobble, and King of the Monsters 2. With these three have like repro, ugh, repro labels. 
already. And these have like original like hollow labels. So that's cool. All right. Let's get these in the shock boxes. So yeah, this one hasn't shown up yet. It's supposed to arrive today. Maybe well while I'm making the video. Mail seems to arrive whenever I'm putting these blurbs together. Let's see here. Ah, oh, yes, just straight up metal slug. Love, love this game. And I like this particular version of the artwork. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I guess I just it goes in there. <laughs> That's that. And, you know, this is meant to mimic the whole AES style of, I guess, retail packaging for the Neo Geo home system, but as the MVS, just arcade boards. And that's what I have interest in collecting. And now I don't have like a consoleized MVS or anything in case anybody's wondering. That is just the regular arcade hardware, the MV1FZ, uh, I believe. And it's just got a case from like Lions 3 or whatever. And it's pretty simple. Just hooked up to a super gun. But yeah. All right. One game. Let's... Ah! Okay. All right. Let's see what else we got. Oh yeah, Super Sidekicks 2. A fun little soccer game with some weird camera controls and all that, but uh, yeah, fun. And again, they had a lot of different versions of like the art and spine and everything. I just picked this one because it was nice and colorful. Okay. Haven't cleaned these up yet or anything, but I don't know, feels actually kind of okay. I'll just go in there. Mmm, yes. Samurai Showdown 2. Good times. Good game. Actually, I haven't played this one nearly as much as I have the first one, but, uh, I don't know. It's two. It's better in many arguable ways. So... That was going to go right here. I kind of wish this had like the American label on it or like an English label just to match the case. But I don't know. It's not going to bother me too much until it does. <laughs> I mean, I could have gotten like the, you know, like Japanese artwork and uh, case or whatever. But I'd rather have like the cases be more uniform. Again, the cartridges themselves, I'm not like super concerned about in terms of like aesthetics or anything. I just want them to, you know, be the right things. This one is... Yeah, these two, pretty bad shape. Again, though, that's, <laughs> they were duplicates, got them for a good price. So, ooh, this poor label. I'm definitely going to be replacing that, so I guess it's gonna go. All right, and this will be the new one. I'm not gonna put that on here right now, but. Check that out. Yeah, man. The finale of the 20th century. What a lovely game. I've got a few of these in the series that I really want to grab, but uh, 2000 was absolutely on my list. Yeah. Along with 94, 98, and 2003 are kind of like my main four from the series that I want. But I mean, I don't know. I like all of them. Yeah, <laughs> why not? So yeah, let's put this in here for now. Replace that label later. Some good old Art of Fighting. This one I have never played, but it was available. So I'm like, yeah, send it on. I'll, I'll buy it off you if it's a duplicate. So there we go. Look at that. I don't know, man. Neo Geo fighting games. This one in particular looked pretty awesome. Yes. So then I'm going there, along with its repro label, whenever I get around to it. <laughs> Just notice this guy. What in the world? Oh, this is gonna be cool. Okay, next shock box is Puzzle Bobble. Mm -hmm. One of my absolute favorites, and I love this like ridiculously colorful, great artwork. I like it so much better 
than the American artwork and the American name of Busta Move. I always thought that was so stupid. It sounded like a dancing game or something. But no, this is this is Puzzle Bobble. And I play this usually in like the Japan regions that have the Universal BIOS installed, which makes it play in Puzzle Bobble mode instead of uh, Busta Move mode. Uh, this originally actually was a Busta Move cartridge, but it didn't have the label. Um, you know, the internals are legit, so. Yes. Well, I mean, that's weird, because it has... I don't know what it was then. It didn't have the label. It's, it was labeled as Busta Move on eBay, and then... Yeah, so anyway, it's a Japanese label on the bottom. Whatever, it's, it's Puzzle Bobble. As far as I'm concerned, that is the only name of this game. <laughs> Oh, and it's great. I've played this so much already since buying it, and it's yeah, one of my favorite puzzlers. I'd like to get the other ones later, but the first one, classic. All right. Yeah, this here, Metal Slug X. It's like Metal Slug 2, but good. <laughs> or at least more playable. Oh, yeah, again, just look at this. Like, this is such well-put-together art. I don't know if this is based on any existing like an AES release or what it was totally custom I don't know I don't care it just looks good and it's gonna look good on a shelf that's the whole idea somewhere to store these and look awesome and so yeah nice translucent green again it has that hollow kind of label and everything the serial numbers scratched out like so many of these are love this game. In fact, I'll probably, yeah, I'm gonna play this one. Okay, and the others, let's see what we got here. Next up, uh-huh, Metal Slug 2. This one, I kind of wish I'd gotten one with like a lighter background because I can barely see this too, and it looks really dark here as well. It's fine, but yeah, kind of wish I'd gotten a, little, a light gray background or something. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this one, to be honest. It's just, it's so, it's got so much slowdown. And again, Metal Slug X is literally the same game, except it's not, <laughs> but you know, it is. Uh, and again, it just runs so much better. It's got better pacing in many areas. And eh, sometimes it goes a little too far with like the extra vehicles and creatures and all that and transformations. But uh, I don't know, still a good game. I, I, I wish that there was a way to like overclock the MVS or something to make this run better because I really do like the game. It just runs like crap. And that, you know, that's just how it was. Eh, anyway, maybe there is a way to like tweak things and make it run a little faster and better, but whatever, man. Happy to own it anyway, because again, got a good deal on it. And the final shock box that they sent, one of my favorites and really like one of the games I wanted the system for the most, King of the Monsters 2. Although again, the 2 is so dark, it's even darker on this. Wow, it's like a really dark blue. Again, I should have gotten like a brighter colored background. They had one with like a light gray. In fact, I might reorder just the artwork for this because it's really the, the shock box itself that costs, you know, well, it's the majority of the cost. So you can just get an insert, I think for $3. And yeah, repro label on this one because it was in garbage condition, but yeah, it took it all apart. It's original and everything, so plays fine. It didn't at first. It needed some heavy cleaning. It was just in terrible shape, but that's how I've gotten most of these. Bad shape, clean it up, make it look all nice. And now I've got a, like a fantastic looking selection of Neo Geo cartridges. And I will have shock troopers here soon. So uh, yeah, here, let me, let me just, oh, this looks so, so cool. <laughs> this is more like dream come true territory, man. I love Neo Geo games. Oh, I like the MVS has always been one of those, like, I don't know. It always seemed unattainable as a kid. So yeah, look at these. Those truly look wonderful all together like that. I love like the big, you know, however many megs on the side, the, the megabit rating. It's crazy. None of these games go over like, I don't know, like 80 megabytes. But when you put it in this, the megs megabit rating, it looks much more impressive. So yeah, 
That is really cool. So I got 10 MVS games. Oh my word, that is awesome. All right, let's play some uh, X. Yes. Yeah, that's nice. Nice little indention there to get your finger or thumb in place and pull out the cartridge nice and easy. Okay. And yeah, I have this uh, PS1 Namco stick going right now. I do have some Neo Geo controllers as well for the AES, and those work pretty ideally, obviously. But yeah, I've been experimenting with like six-button things. I I've got a adapter on the way to customize the layout of these for different games. Dharma! Dharma! Oh! <laughs> oh, crap. There you go. No! Oh, what in the suck? Well, anyway, Metal Slug X. Wonderful game. <laughs> score <laughs> all right well that's it for this video uh, i just want to say that shock boxes exist um from south town and they're fantastic i'll put a link in the video description if you're curious about them or whatever and uh uh yeah that's yeah, pretty much it so uh thanks for watching this blurb <laughs>